Change Tracker is one of the latest auditing capability built into SQL Server 2008. This is not to be confused with Change Data Capture feature which is a lot more granular. The only difference between Change Tracker and Change Data Capture is that Change Data Capture gives you a lot more historical data information. In short, Change Tracker is a lightweight solution for applications that require information on data change. Uh, instead of building your custom solutions, you can rely on SQL Server to meet certain basic needs. So what can Change Tracker tell us? It can tell us which row changed and or did a row change at all. I found uh, s several functions uh, built for Change Tracker as well as uh, views, very useful. useful. Uh, one of the function namely change tracking current version it can tell us uh, the version of the last committed change and the other uh, there are two catalog views that I found useful is change tracking database which can tell me uh, which database has change tracker enabled and change tracking tables which can tell me which tables have change tracker enabled so when I run select change tracking current version executed uh, you notice that I get a null value this means that we do not have change tracker enabled for the database adventure works 2008 and let's try running uh, the query which can tell us which database have change tracker enabled by calling change tracking database catalog when we execute it we'll see the same thing that there's no database with that enabled hence if we run try to run the change tracking table uh, view we'll not see anything uh, being returned anyway so let's go ahead and enable change tracking in AdventureWorks 2008 we right click and go under properties Go under change tracking double click to set it to true and there are other options in change tracking node which says what's the retention period that you want um, I go with the standard uh, two and for, for this demo and it gives us the period in units we can choose it for days hours or minutes and then we can set it to uh, tell, tell whether we want auto cleanup enabled or not if we have it enabled, then SQL Server is gonna do that uh, cleanup. Or if you want to have your own process, then you just leave as is. Uh, it's totally up to you. And uh, we can have as large as uh, retention period as uh, two billion days, which is the maximum of int. And what that means, we can retain data for as many as five million years, or somewhere near around there. Anyway, uh, we set it to true and let's move on. Now we also we have to enable it at each individual table level. So I'm going to enable it for person.address table. We go under properties and go under the similar node called change tracking and we click on and set it to true. And I like having track columns updated so we also set that enable set that to true hit OK and let's click on uh, select change tracking current version and run it as you can see it gives us a value of 9 well uh, in order to get this demo working I had to uh, apply my sample scripts multiple times that's why it is at that uh, version and let's see what I get back for my change tracking database catalog view as well as change tracking tables view if you run it and we'll see the database view tells us adventure works has enabled and uh, name and the address table has enabled and we also get additional information like is auto clean upon retention period as well as when the minimum version we started for this database cleanup version as well 
so next we uh, look into this querying uh, this first querying uh, as the comment says it will get all current rows and their associated version when I execute it you will see uh, all uh, rows for person dot address table is returned and it gives these two additional columns syschange version and syschange context and as you can see all the rows returning null and syschange version is the version number that gets updated as soon as you change a record and syschange context uh, is something you should get supplied from the application so let's try running a query and this query uh, I'm just going to update city for this purpose I'm going to update person that address table to set city to St. Paul well actually it's already set to St. Paul I'm just going to let's execute it incorrect syntax needs a keyword word oh don't need that all right now let's go back up to this query here and we execute it as you can see this is change version has changed to 10 now if I just wanted to find out what exactly got changed uh, which rows got changed I run the next query so by calling the change table uh, table variable function and it will just give me only the rows that got changed one thing I forgot to add is that uh, this cross apply operator here the apply operator usually takes the input from the left and changes uh, and passes it as a parameter to the table valid function to the right and the cross keyword tells it to only bring the rows that give you results set and based on your input if it doesn't give you any result then it's not useful so uh, we only work with, with valid data so now the next question uh, that we get answered by change tracker is uh, whether whether something got updated or not now for that we use this script segment where I declare CD change bit variable and change columns var binary variable and I ch pass it to change tracking is column in max function which requires change columns to be uh, set using this table valid function which will give me the list of columns that got changed so for the for this demo when we run it we see yes CT was changed and it if it wasn't changed we, we wouldn't we would see zero and nothing here and this binary value 0x blah 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 0 for 100,000 or whatever it is uh, it will get passed to the function uh, passed to the application and that is responsible for whatever interpretation it wants to make and and let's say if I uh, decide to update postal code once I run it hit execute tells me once something was updated and let's run it here as you can see uh, the binary has more data stacked onto it so uh, the end app end user application will know a list of columns that were changed this concludes the demo here and if there is anything you would like to more about change tracker uh, please email me or send some video comment or post. I look forward to hearing from you all. Thank you.